I had never shot my firearm that night. Marcel Malanga was the first to be interrogated by the judge as the trial of 51 suspects accused of trying to overthrow the DRC government resumed in Kinshasa. The 22-year-old from the U.S. state of Utah said he came to the DRC to visit his Congolese father but ended up being forced to participate in the coup. And he told us that we must listen to everything that he tells us to do tonight because he has military arriving right now. And that he would kill us if we do not listen to his words. Marcel and other defendants were filmed inside the presidential palace on May 19th, dressed in military uniforms that were presented as exhibits. But his lawyer stressed his innocence. My client was clear that he was forced into joining the other people who participated in the coup. Six people were killed during the attack on the presidential palace and the residence of the former deputy prime minister of economy. Marcel Malanga's father, Christian Malanga, was shot dead by Congolese security forces at the presidential palace on May 19th for reportedly resisting arrest. He was a Congolese opposition figure who relocated to the U.S. in 1998. Two other U.S. citizens are among the 51 dependents being tried for attempting to topple the DRC government, facing charges of terrorism, criminal association, and the illegal possession of arms. Some of the defendants argued that they were tortured to make confessions, but the court dismissed their claims. The trial is set to continue in the coming weeks. Chris Ochamringa, CGTN, Kinshasa, Democratic Republic of Congo.